How's it going guys? Welcome to another painting tutorial. This time I'm going to paint a Dark Elder Witch from the Cult of Strife. This tutorial actually just is a painting tutorial for a witch, but all of the things that I've painted on this tutorial can be used on different units. So you can use it for your Cabalite Warriors, your Scourges, and all of the units that have similar color schemes. I really enjoyed this tutorial because I'm actually doing and starting an army on Dark Eldar. Uh, hopefully it'll turn out well and please let me know if you like the tutorial, please give a like, give a comment and I hope you enjoy it. Now as always I'm going to start with a grey primer. I'm going to use Abbott and Black to start painting all of the suit parts, just leaving alone the head and the arm. You can save some some time if you have the black spray primer and prime the whole miniature in black. I didn't have it because uh, the cap got uh, broke off from the can and my black primer is now useless. And yep, yeah, just uh, you can use the uh, spray primer. The only advantage of using a gray primer or white primer is that your white like colors that are not black are going to be that much more. Uh, vibrant. Now I'm going to use lead belcher and I'm going to use it in all the silver metal parts. That's the the gun, the the blade, some of the earrings that the miniature has on on their ears and some uh, details here and there. Next, I'm going to use Rackard Flesh and I'm going to thin it down just a little so that it doesn't eat through the detail and I'm going to base coat the face and all of the flesh exposed parts. There aren't many. There's usually always uh, some on the, uh, on the leg here, the, the arm and the face. Next, I'm using corn red, and I'm going to base coat the hair of the miniature. What I'm doing here, I'm just uh, base coating all of the colors before applying washes. By that point, the painting is going to make more sense. But right now, it's not really important to have it look extremely clean. Just make sure that each part is the color it should be and uh, with the highlights we're going to clean up and the washes are going to redefine the edges and it'll look better. Next step I'm going to use Buckman's Glow and I'm going to use it to base coat the uh, loincloth or whatever this uh, cloth piece is. I understand that it is uh, flayed skin. I don't know if someone can confirm that in a comment but yeah most of the uh, painted miniatures have this piece of cloth painted in flesh tones. So that's what I did. Now I'm going to use Rhinox Hide, and that's going to be used for just the pouches. The places that you want to be leather is just one pouch on this miniature. Now I'm going to use Snot Green, which is the Warp Stone Glow for the new paint range. And I'm going to base coat all of the uh, cables, which are the combat drugs and the flask that it has in the back of the miniature. I wouldn't really bother to paint the flasks on uh, green, now that I think about it. I guess I would just leave them uh, as a metal color, just for simplicity's sake. Now it's time from the wa for the washes. I'm going to use known oil for the metal parts. Next, I'm going to use Ogrin Flesh and use it all over the flesh. It's a really simple step, you know, you ha you just have to mop, mop the uh, color into the, the base coat, just le let it pull on the recesses. Next, I'm going to use the Devlin Mud, that's for the uh, cloth 
pieces, which are uh, the the flesh. And next, I'm going to use ball red or Karovirk crimson for the hair. And finally, Thraka green for the combat drugs. Now I'm going to use Sandry Dust, and this is actually because I forgot to do it on a previous step, to paint the areas that you want to be uh, bone, you use Sandry Dust to base coat it, and follow it up with uh, Devlin Mud Wash or Agrix Earthshade. Earthshade. That's it. Now I'm going to start highlighting the armor. I'm going to use Incubite Darkness to paint the edges of the armor. You don't have to be very clean in this step unless you're looking for very high uh, quality miniature, which I'm not. I'm actually aiming for tabletop standard because as these models are only, I think, 10 points or 11, so I'm, I guess I'm going to have a lot of them, so I'm not really concentrating on making really fine edges and stuff. But you can do if you want, so just take your time, thin the paint a little bit more, and yeah. Just uh, base coat all of the edges, and uh, go a little bit uh, broad, a little bit, just a little bit. Just lay the color in it, in the edges. Next, I'm going to use Cavalite Green, and this time I'm going to, again, edge highlight all of the edges, just a little bit finer, trying to go as fine as I can around all of the edges, no exception. This is a simple step, if you thin down your paint a little, just a little bit with a uh, flow improver or just water it'll make your your uh, painting a little bit easier if you use the paint just straight from the pot you, the paint is going to start uh, drying in, your, in the tip of your brush and it's going to start getting clumpy and being hard to manage this step is a little bit, a little bit uh, time consuming but Seeing that I really like my Dark Elder miniatures, I don't mind g giving the miniature the time and the effort to uh, highlight all of the edges. I guess you could probably uh, skip some edges if you're not interested, but I'm trying my best here. Now, uh, the last highlight is the Sivarite White, I mean Sivarite Green, and this is going to be an edge highlight on the edges, but this time on the very on the corners. Just pick the sharpest edges of the of the armor and start uh, edge highlighting just a little bit less than the last step, if you can. Again, this step is the most uh, time demanding of them all and maybe you're going to dread it a little bit but uh, it's, I think it's the most boring step on painting the witches and the Eldar but it's definitely the most important I think Now thank you very much for watching my tutorial, uh, stay tuned for the second part, like, comment and subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you on the next one, thank you.